Hey everybody, it's Jake. I normally do a lot of videos on AWS, but I wanted to start a series on Terraform. It's a conversation I think uh, we need to have. Um, there's a lot of tools inside of AWS uh, that are used for something called infrastructure as code and namely cloud formation. And so I want to do a little bit more of a deep dive on Terraform so you can learn how it's applicable, when it might be appropriate to use, and uh, when to use Terraform versus CloudFormation. There's a lot of tools out there, so I'm going to go over Chef, uh, and I'll go over Ansible and Puppet too, but uh, more like uh, why, when, when it's appropriate to use this, not how to use Chef, uh, Puppet, and Ansible. Um, but that's uh, that's kind of the goal. So something new, something different, just giving it a try. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to go over a quick, like, well, what in the heck even is Terraform? So Terraform is a way to declare your infrastructure that you want to build or whatever it is you want to build uh, in code through a file, config Terraform config file, where you can say, here's what I want uh, my infrastructure to look like, and then it will just reach out and build that. It's cloud agnostic, so it works on AWS, it works on GCP, Azure, um, all over the place. You can even work locally on your machine, works at Docker, Kubernetes, you name it. Um, so it's just a, an infrastructure as code tool. A lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it, <laughs> but you have to know it. Um, that's really what it comes down to. So you can write your uh, IAC infrastructure's code um, in declarative config files, like I was saying. Um, the one thing about the files here is you have to learn the HashiCorp language because it um, has a very specific way of writing. So it's not YAML, it's not JSON. Um, it still uses blocks, arguments, expressions like you would use um, in other config uh, languages, if you want to call them, like YAML, JSON, but it's it just looks a little bit different. So it takes some getting used to, but it's really not bad. Um, you can do, you, you can run your file and then run a Terraform plan, and it will be like, hey, here's what I plan to run. And then you can be like, yeah, that's good, and approve it and run Terraform apply, and it will just go build the stuff. And if you want to take it all down, you can run Terraform destroy, and it'll run all that uh, into the ground and get rid of it for you as well. So that's kind of nice. Um, there are a couple different ways to use Terraform, so I'll go into that in pretty good detail, but um, it uses modules and you can do um, you know, changes. Uh, there's graphing and state management, like all kinds of stuff. You can also use uh, languages like Python and, and, and JavaScript and things like that to build things as well. So um, the main thing to know with Terraform is it uses something called providers. So a provider is an, uh, a third party to, to HashiCorp, who's the company that makes Terraform, that provides uh, basically like a library or an API to say, hey, you can, you can manipulate resources. Um, here's, here's the Terraform format we need you to write your file in in order for that to work, like on AWS, for example. So all the examples I'm going to be doing are with AWS, uh, where we're going to be provisioning resources in AWS from my computer using Terraform. Um, and so we're going to be, in that case, AWS is the provider. They're providing the API in order for that to, to be able to, to work. So inside the source code of HashiCorp, so all the magic happens to make that happen. But um, essentially, you just need to know you can codify your application. You can manage infrastructure across any cloud and uh, make it reproducible. You can build it, destroy it all day long as many times as you want, um, and you can reproduce that, version it, approve it, set up controls, um, integrate it with your pipelines, uh, all that stuff. So that's essentially the high level. Um, I mean, you can use it for for pretty much anything. Uh, it's using production all over the place. If you go look up various uh, DevOps, cloud, whatever, um, jobs on LinkedIn or your favorite job post site, um, you're going to see Terraform all over the place. So I figured it was worth having that discussion. Um, I do have some experience with Terraform, a lot of experience with Terraform. So I'll try to share that with you now in a um, somewhat organized fashion, and hopefully it helps. So if you have any questions, let me know, uh, and we'll go ahead and get into it.